This time I'm going to make a point of drawing big. Big. So let's start with a big old triangle. Is it easier to draw big pictures or small pictures? Big. Big pictures are easier to draw than small pictures. You drop your Oh, oh, oh my goodness, it was all the way down on the floor. I don't go down there very much. Oh, right, now we're going to add sort of a square, sort of a rectangle up here. That's her head. Give her a head square. Uh, yeah, I want to tilt this up a little bit. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Just be sure I get the whole thing in there. Just want to be sure. What I find is that I, I've been drawing my pictures too small, so I want to draw them nice and big. And we'll put a brim on her hat, right? This beautiful lady is primarily composed which of triangles? Oh, I thought This beautiful denizen of the night. Oh, enchanting. <laughs> Triangle arms. And she got some long, fluffy, pretty rich hair. Yeah, but I came in here and it was just chaos. Chaos? Yes. In their heads. In their heads. It was everyone was sitting very silently at their desks, but I could tell that their their minds were just a work. got a big old eyeball there. What you gonna do with that big old eye when it comes for you? Well, you can give her a normal eye. Now when you normalize her here, just realize that what she's looking at is what's in the cauldron. <laughs> But you don't have to do the normal eyes. No, 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 no. You could do the spiral eyes. What are you cooking in that cauldron, lady? And you can give her the eyelashes if you're not going to color it in to make a silhouette. <laughs> or we can give her the big old puppy eyes, can't we? big old puppy eyes and the eyelashes, she's not scary at all. No. In fact, the boys would like to date her. She's got two hands. What are the hands made out of? Sticks and balls. Sticks and balls make the hands. No jazz hands, sticks and balls. Sticks and balls. Sticks and balls. So now... We're going to give her a cauldron to be cooking in. It's a cooking cauldron. Yeah. Now a cauldron is, is a little bit of a complex shape to try and just sit and draw it freehand like that. So I like the way he has you build it up. You start with a rectangle, right? 
And you come in here and you put a letter C and a letter D on it. What? That will help C? you see decaldron. CD? You, my friend, are commenting on every single thing I say. I find it to be disrespectful. Okay? Thank you. Now, over here, I'm going to add a triangle on the left and a triangle on the right. And that's how you get that symmetrical shape without having to agonize over it. Because we're still using rat lines, rat? Rat lines. Right about there. Don't worry about making it perfect. She's been using this cauldron since Mr. Dawson was born. It's time to get a new cauldron. And you can go ahead and fill that in. I'm not going to fill it in completely because I'm cheap and I don't like to waste my whiteboard marker. I'll just kind of hint at it here. But when you fill it in completely, you hide your guidelines that you started with. And nobody knows that you put the C and the D and the two right triangles on it to create that stunning cauldron, what is used for cooking. Now, the night before Christmas, not a creature was stirring, but before Halloween, this woman is stirring like crazy. Oh, wow. Mixing up her witch's brew, which makes her so beautiful. <laughs> and oh, the aromas that come out of that. They smell so lovely, don't they? And, well, she thinks so. Skulls to tell you its quality. Uh -huh. Now, once you've drawn these delightful witches, you can draw them in any position you like, doing anything you like, can't you? Pretty much. Let's see how much board I've got here on my camera. Oh, I got lots of board. Plenty of board. No reason. I can't afford more board. So I might start another witch over here. I always start with that triangle. Now I'm just going to kind of blast it down, right? I've already tried it. I like it. Just like the skeleton, you can have the, the arms and the legs go in any direction you want. Doing anything you want. to give her rat a bath. <laughs> but she's angry about it because he's really dirty. It's going to take a long time to clean that rat here. You dirty rat. I'm going to put you in that bathtub. I'm going to scrub you. Yeah, so uh, 
that's your homework for the week. Boys and girls, I will want you to up, go home and this evening while you're watching America's Got Dance or Sponge Square Bob Pants. I would like for you to draw lots of witches. Thank you.